geez, Devin, I'm telling you, there's something about this trailer. I think it's time to retire this thing. It really bugs me. The thing is so top heavy, you know, with all of this, all of the piping and stuff on top of the irrigation pump and the tires keep flattening. And when I pull this up from the river, it keeps wanting to tip over on me. And it'd be kind of cool if we could, instead of kind of pulling it by hand, as I get older, boy, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Yeah, we really should build a new trailer for this that's got a hitch that we can hook onto the mower. Ooh, hook it up to the mower. Yeah, that'll the make the John Deere. Yeah, that'll Absolutely. make it a lot simpler. And how can we get it so that the, the whole thing is lower so that it's not so top heavy? Well, we could build a new axle for a trailer and actually have the bed of the trailer sitting on the axle rather than it being up above the tires. Oh, so the tires would come up the sides. Yeah. Oh, like a typical trailer. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, like a cargo trailer. And we could fix how the pump is tipping back because the pump itself it sits down lower than the motor, and oh. we can actually level the pump out. Oh, that's why it's canted like this. Yeah. Okay, so the trailer that you sit, you're going to have to offset the frame a little bit so it can sit level. Yeah, we'll build a little platform for the motor to sit on and then the actual pump will sit right on the deck of the trailer. Awesome. Well, we needed some steel then. Yeah. And an axle, a couple of tires. Can we get like uh, like tires that don't take air? Yeah, like we can get some tires that are solid tires. That way it don't flat put Flat free. Air. Yeah. Excellent. Let's do that. And then we'll have something that'll last forever. And if we park it down at the river for eight months of the year or something, it's not going to rot out on us. Yeah. Excellent. Let's do it. Okay. Perfect. Now that I've got all my pieces cut, I went through and laid out where all of the cross braces are gonna go. So I have my two outside ones. I have my two here that the pump will actually uh, bolt to. And then this is the front one where the front of the pump actually rests on. These two are to raise the pump up the one inch that we need so that the pump will sit flat. Before I set any of this metal down, I took a framing square and made a perfectly square line around this frame. I can go up right to the line and I can get it nice and close and then I can tack weld all my corners and then I can do a triangular or a, a corner measurement from each corner to make sure it's perfectly square. I use the soapstone to mark all my intersecting bars. In case I make a mistake, I can go ahead and erase it and make a new line if we need to change anything. So I put this magnetic square in the corner. It holds this bar and this bar in the right position while I'm tacking it. If the wire pushes against it, it's not gonna move. Now I'm gonna go ahead and check my diagonal measurements. 36 and three quarter, 36 and three quarter. It's perfectly square. Now I'll tack these center braces into the frame. With everything tacked together, now I can go ahead and weld everything up solid. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the tongue in. And this tongue is pretty cool. It actually slides all the way in for when we're storing it. And when we need it, we just have two pins that go in to hold the tongue into the receiver. And another clip. Now we can go ahead and set the axle and figure out exactly what position we're going to set it on this frame so we get just the right amount of tongue weight on this. Yeah, that feels about right. Excellent. Yeah, that'll be good. Right there. The axle's about an inch behind this bar right here. So that'll give us enough weight on the tongue that we don't have to worry about it coming off of the trailer at all. 